Guys, if you're installing hitch on your vehicle and you run into some problems like broken bolts, stripped threads, this is a video is going to be great for you guys. Let's get right to it. All right, on every single vehicle that accept the hitch, you're going to have a mounting locations for your hitch on your uh, frame, the frame of the vehicle. In, inside of the frames, you're going to have like a threaded nut that was welded on the factory. And it's just a square box, just a square frame where uh, those uh, nuts sits. Well, the problem I ran to, uh, and you're probably going to run into since you're watching this video, these uh, threads were so rusted out and you can see on the video how bad it rusted out around it and it was really really badly rusted inside so there is really um, no way to kind of run the threads with the bolts which that's what I was doing I was um, trying to just screw the bolt that came with the kit by the way every hitch comes with the bolts with the four bolts or six bolts depends what kind of hitch you buy I had four bolts, the proper size, this is the proper size, M12 uh, with the uh, one and a quarter uh, thread pitch. So just keep that in mind on this particular vehicle. And they were just not going into. Um, I tried to screw it, screw it in and try to just break the threads, but they were so rusted out. I used some PB blaster, uh, the good thing to break loose the rust and remove the rust. It just didn't work, work out. I stripped my bolts. I managed to run uh, three holes because on each frame you have two holes. I was managed to run three. And of course, on the last one, you see right here, I broke the bolt. Uh, I used the impact tool, that which is, was a mistakenly. I shouldn't be using uh, impact tool, just slowly um, screw, uh, put the, 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 the bolt and just slowly screw in and then screw back, back, back a little bit and screw in back a little bit. That's how you kind of do it. And they just didn't work at all. I decided to just go ahead and rush into, use impact tool and I broke the bolt. Now what you see right here, I already cut the, cut the, um, the head, which I'm going to show you in a minute how I, I did it. The problem is, it completely broke off the nut. The nut inside completely broke off from the weld. So if you ran into this problem, this is a great video for you guys. So let's go ahead and let me show you what you can do and how you can fix uh, these problems. Okay, so the first thing that you need is just to get a tap like this. Um, you need to find out what size of the bolts you have. You can bring the bolt to your store and just kind of try to, to find the match of your pitch, which is very important, and obviously the size um, of your bolt. Uh, now, with the um, Toyota RAV4, I previously mentioned, I used uh, the bolt that came in the kit was M12 uh, with the one and a quarter pitch. Very hard to find uh, the tap for this. I ran around the city for like uh, about an hour tried to find different stores and never could find so i had to order one on um, online just the regular tab and the handle all this cost me another twenty dollars so i invested another twenty dollars trying to install the hitch just so just keep this in mind if you have a problem with running the bolt and you know the bolt just not going in while you're installing your hitch make sure you run the thread first with this tool so you kind of have to get the tap and the tool that holds so i ran my um, bolts all the way around again on all my threads i ran i ran through them with the with, with the with the tap and now bolts going in and out so easy like it's supposed to so if you find your uh, holes really rusted out while you're installing your uh, hitch just make sure you slowly run the bolts separately uh, without installing actually a hitch. You have to kind of thread them through first or to get one of these, which is totally save the thread, save everything, and now the bolt's going in uh, very, very good. Now, how you uh, fix the problem with a uh, broke off nut that located inside, and now this is just stuck. You cannot even remove this anymore. You have uh, two options. The one option which I highly do not recommend, 
you have to cut the square box here in the frame so you can feed a nut inside while you install in your hitch. This is, can be done, this is the cheapest and easiest way to do, but you're cutting the hole in the frame, this is really not good. If you, uh, like this particular wheel have a bigger hole, I can make a bigger hole here and with the magnet kind of feed uh, the nut in there, but it's going to be very hard for me to catch that nut with the bolt. So this is one option for you guys. That it's doable, but like I said, you know, I do not recommend you to cut the hole. You see I already actually marked the hole here. I was going to cut it, but I never did. Changed my mind about cutting it. So there is another way to do this. You need to get a rivet nut tool and there is no other way around, no other proper and safety way to install the bolt in your frame is just to use the rivet nut tool. There is a bunch of them there on Amazon, even Harbor Freight actually sell them for $50. This particular one run me $65 on Amazon. And because this is more bigger one, this is a 14 inch handle, comes with more dies and more rivet sizes. I picked the biggest rivet that come, came in a kit and it's a, a one and a half a size. I already went to the store and I got me the bolt that perfectly will go and I'll be able to secure uh, my hitch. Now, by the way, the bolts that you need to get, make sure you get some certain of what that have zinc coated or stainless steel. This is a zinc coated, it's a little cheaper bolt, but it will do the job uh, just um, fine. Now, what this rivet tool actually do? It will be able to uh, properly install um, the thread and it will gonna be locked there since you don't have a way to get behind behind your frame instead of besides the cutting the hole in the frame uh, this will get uh, your thread inside of the frame with absolutely no problem it's, it's very very hard they're very very durable uh, you'll not be able to pull them off um, so this is only the other option for you to do for you to install um, your hitch now let's go ahead and get right to it and start installing the hitch now like i said i already cut the head off uh, this uh, broken off bolt uh, and i use just my air air grinder um, and uh, you can use just regular grind electric grinder but it's really hard uh, to get in a tight place so uh, my air tool is really really worked uh, just the perfect perfect spot very tight spot to get there so i had to use my um, air gun tool but you can cut with a saw whatever you have just cut the the head and now you have to literally just push that bolt inside just push it bolt inside it's now going to be living there and i'm going to cut the hole bigger here so my rivet nut will fit inside I'm going to be using a step drill bits to cut the hole. Now, if you don't have these things, it's going to run you another $18 at Harbor Freight. Now, they're not super, they're not going to let you forever. You know, it's a Harbor Freight, but um, they do work just fine. I've seen these things for $65 at Lowe's or Home Depot, which is, I think, so it's extremely overpriced. These are 18 bucks. You can actually get them even online for a little bit cheaper, but these will do the job. Now, the reason why I picked um, uh, step drill bits, because they are going to cut a little bit more precise hole instead of just regular drill bit. You can use the regular drill bit and cut a proper size hole for this rivet. Now, keep in mind, your hole for your rivet, your hole for your rivet, supposed to be exactly the same exactly the same it cannot be bigger even by one millimeter so for example this rivet measures at uh, 17 millimeter now on my um, uh, on my uh, step drill the proper size would be 11 16 so we're just gonna see how 11 16 feet fits in there and it fits perfectly just perfect 11 16 hole that's the hole you need to make for this size of the rivet if you're going to be using a bigger rivet or smaller rivet make sure your hole is precise cannot be bigger and if it's going to be smaller obviously your rivet will not uh, going to fit so let's go ahead and cut the hole in the frame and uh, install the rivet now just so you won't accidentally uh, cut the bigger hole 
you can just mark your 1116 with some marker so you can see when to stop and then when this is stopped disappearing start to disappearing you can go in and stop drilling that's if you use this particular tap drill if not you can just use a regular um, drill bit like i said you probably already noticed i moved uh, this exhaust pipe away uh, because it just was on my way in this particular setup in this particular vehicle uh, my um, muffler just basically sits right under the mounting holes so you have to kind of remove and pull this uh, muffler out of the rubber holders out of the rubber mounts and i basically just use one of these tools right here and just slowly walked around the mounting in the rubber and slowly push off uh, the muffler um, out of the mounts pretty easy and then i just secure it with um, some rubber band Now our rivet fits perfectly in the hole now and it's not going to move around so we made a perfect hole. Now just keep in mind since we press the bolt with the original nut inside it's just going to live there forever. The problem is this since it's inside the frame uh, you might be rolling back and forth making noise. Uh, that's definitely going to happen. So for you to prevent this, for you to stop this, you uh, need to use just one of these, just regular gap crack foam, expand foam. I'm going to shoot a little bit in here and I'm going to shoot a little bit in here. This is where the bolt is located right now. And we're going to go into kind of like a secure this bolt. If you don't have expand uh, cracker like this, expand crack uh, foam, um, you can use like a silicone just make sure to shoot a lot of them there kind of like to prevent this bolt from rattling back and forth so just don't miss this step because <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare this thing is just gonna be constantly bouncing inside and rolling inside and making all kind of uh, noises Now how to use river nut tool, it's really not uh, that hard, this is not what the video about it. Uh, just find the rivet, the rivet that you're going to use, like I said once again this is a one and a half rivet, pretty big, the biggest size I could find. Find a proper um, uh, a die on it, the proper threads, uh, and uh, just screw this on put in a hole and squeeze and you see right now on the side I post the video of how it actually happens how this rivet works and uh, just be aware um, every single rivet nuts like this have a grip range this is called a grip range right here and the bigger size you go the bigger range will be uh, this is very critical because you have to understand what size of the steel how thick the metal is on your frame so if you pick a smaller uh, rivet it might not properly lock behind this metal and you will never be able to see that it's just never really locked behind so just go with the biggest uh, as you can find uh, go with this one or for example m12 the metric size uh, but the metric size is a little bit harder to cut the hole like you have to find 15 millimeter like this right here are m12s and they hole are 15 uh, millimeter which is hard to find the, the drill bit that will be perfect 15 uh, millimeter uh, so anyway just keep in mind the grip range is very 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 important so let's go ahead and install this uh, rivet nut
we have now installed. Rivet fits perfect, sits there forever, it's really tight and good fit and now you can just simply install new bolt in it and install your hitch. Now hitch is installed and only what you need to do now is to put your muffler back on the mount. And this is it. Guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.